supposed to go to Pakistan, get <laughs> rolled over, and allow them to to uh, come into uh, the final uh, at the Eden Gardens. But uh, is your memory of the game uh, going into the game uh, similar of of this feeling of almost being siege under siege in in a country that was expecting now to win the World Cup? It was another one of those really good contests. There was um, moments in the game that you know can sort of go one way or the other. Uh, Imran Khan himself bowled a fantastic spell uh, of bowling towards the end of the innings, but mm. I, I can distinctly remember uh, Steve Waugh hitting two or three sixes, you know, maybe 18, 20 runs off the penultimate over, uh, which sort of springboarded our score from, you know, reasonable to very, very good yes. uh, into the high 260s. So all of a sudden, um, we had a very competitive total on the board and something that, you know, going into the half time break, uh, we fancied our chances that uh, if we bowled anywhere near our best and we fielded like we had been, we we're, were a big chance. Early wickets again for Australia, you got them three down before 40, but then Javed and Imran start to put a partnership together. What's the thinking then? Yeah, well, they, they were the danger too, weren't they? I mean, having taken early wickets, it gives you a huge momentum, you know, the confidence is high, uh, you know, we were fielding and bowling very well, but all of a sudden, those two, you know, they're, they're, they're not dynamic duo, weren't they? Uh, Javed, me and Dad, just a, a master of the one-day game, just working the ball in the gaps and keeping the score ticking over without ever appearing to be, you know, smashing the ball all over the place. And um, his partner in crime, Imran, you know, he, he played a fantastic captain's knock and he was just knocking the ball around. And they were starting to get a, a really good partnership together and keeping them in the game. I didn't rate my own bowling very highly but it was one of those situations in the game where uh, I think Tim May was our spin bowler at the time and he was um, getting a bit of um, stick from the, the batsman. I think both Jarvid and, and Imran are tremendous players of spin bowling. So they were, they were knocking the ball around with ease. And I just felt there was a need for a change. So of course, um, you know, I was the, the spare parts bowler at that time. <laughs> and um, so begrudgingly, I um, decided to have a bowl myself. And, uh, it was in the very first over, um, if memory serves me right, that um, I got Imran in my mind just to, to edge one to our keeper. Uh, and he claims that he was not out, that it was uh, Dickie Bird who gave the wrong decision at the time, and he said he wasn't out at all. Yeah, well, look, uh, from my point of view, I mean, you, 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 you heard something, there was a big noise, and, uh, you know, it was just you know, a huge moment in the game for us, and uh, Dickie Bird ruled in our favour, but if... Imran says he, he doesn't hit it. Well, he's a, he's a very honest man. I'll, I'll take his word for that. But that happens in cricket. It was a huge moment in the game, that's for sure. And, of course, from that point on, we started to, to grab the ascendancy yes. and um, wickets started to tumble.